What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a fun little pack with me for like a summer weekend getaway. So whether it's like a beach trip or a weekend at the cottage, something like that just, well I consider this to be lighter packing but I also used to be a crazy overpacker so this is good for me. <laughs> so yeah before we jump into today's video I just want to thank Neutrogena for sponsoring this video. I'm really really excited to be working with them on this so let's get started. If you're going to be hanging out outside a lot definitely 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 needing some sunscreen so I've been using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost sunscreen lately I absolutely love this sunscreen. It is so good because it's just extremely lightweight when you're putting it onto your skin. And I love how it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it's not like white and sticky. You know how a lot of sunscreens they go onto your skin and it's just like a thick layer of white mess. That's, that's not what we want. So with this sunscreen, it goes on really, really smooth, rubs into your skin and it doesn't leave that white residue. And it's also extremely moisturizing, which I like. So this one is SPF 50 and they also have an SPF 30 if you wanted to go that route. I'm gonna be packing up a sunscreen obviously I think sunscreen is so 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 important all year round but especially in the summertime if you are gonna be spending a lot more time outside then make sure you are protecting your skin. Another thing you should be packing is a bug spray, a bug repellent, a bug lotion, anything like that. There is nothing worse than going on a trip and the bugs are out in full force and you don't have anything. One year um, some of my friends and I went camping and it was like early in the season and the bugs were just insane. I have honestly never seen so many mosquitoes in my entire life and out of like the eight of us that were camping not one of us brought bug spray. So we were all literally dying hiding out in one tent like trying to escape all the mosquitoes. So now that's something I'm always super sure to pack. So for those I will just pop my bug spray and my sunscreen into my toiletry bag. So this this toiletry bag here I actually keep this packed up 24 7 like all the time and this is just tucked away under the sink in my bathroom so anytime I'm taking any sort of trip I already have a lot of my essentials packed in here so I don't have to be scrambling at the last minute trying to make sure that I have everything and this has saved my life so many times I can't even tell you I started doing this when I was like 19 years old and it's life-changing let me tell you that so basically what I keep like pre-packed in here a hairband so for when I'm washing my face in the evening my hair just stays out of my face I also have a deodorant a brush a comb and some toothpaste as well as just some like travel sized skincare so like my coconut rose mist I have a little eye cream in there and I also keep my toothbrush obviously so this is just a toothbrush that I strictly use for traveling I also have like my regular toothbrush in my bathroom that I use for when I'm at home but that way I don't have to worry about forgetting like my toothbrush or my deodorant I have extras in this bag the most exciting of everything so Neutrogena just came out with these single packet wipes and I am so excited about these because I absolutely love their regular cleansing wipes in the full packet here and I remove when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup these are my go-to for like removing my makeup I usually do like a full oil on my face and then I use this to get absolutely everything off and when I travel I pack one of these because I like to use these on the plane but I mean, come on, like this is bigger and bulkier. It's taking up that precious space in your carry-on if you are traveling. So they came out with these like individual packets, which are so, so good for traveling. You can just pop this, like if you're going on a two night trip, you can just take two and pop them into your toiletry bag. And it is just an absolute lifesaver because when I'm on a plane, I like to just have one with me, but I had to bring like the whole pack um, because I like to wipe off my face and then give myself a little bit of a moisturizing face mask. But these are also great if you're gonna be outside all day just for a quick like refresh, if you're camping or at the cottage or something like that. And I also think these are great to have maybe to tuck away in your gym bag if you want to refresh after the gym. So I'm just gonna pack a couple of those into my toiletry bag as well. Then in the front pouch, I like to keep a lot of hair things. So extra hair elastics, extra bobby pins, maybe like a nail file, some Q-tips, little things like that, that you know you might forget to pack in a pinch. You already have them in there in case you need them. And for clothes, I like to try to pack things that I could maybe layer up together or mix and match, just very basic things because 
because I'm the kind of person who I'll go like I'll be on my trip then and I'm like well I don't want to wear anything that I packed so it's good to have options but still keep it keep it minimal because you don't want to do a bunch of laundry when you get home so the first thing that we're gonna do is pack up a t-shirt so whether you want to go for more of a graphic style t-shirt or more of a basic t-shirt these are a great piece to pack up because you can layer them over top of things or you know pair them up with some jean shorts stuff like that so next up is gonna be a pair of denim shorts these are just like perfect for summertime and if you are like at the beach or at the pool you can just pop these on over top of your bathing suit as well so it's great for layering over top of those and like I mentioned with the graphic tee you could pair up your denim shorts with whatever t-shirt you're bringing and that's a cute outfit right there with some sandals and a necklace next thing to pack up would be a camisole top I absolutely love camis super super breezy really cute I just have this very basic white camisole top here this is another top that would pair super well with the denim shorts so that's an option for an outfit as well the next thing that's definitely an essential to pack for a little weekend trip is a sundress so whatever whatever sundress you like I'm gonna go for my like burnt orange colored sundress here with the lace trim with this you could also layer your t-shirt over top of your sundress depending on the style of your dress and the style of your t-shirt but if you had just like a basic white t-shirt Shirt, you could pop this on over top and then knot it up and then you have like a skirt top combo if you wanted to mix things up a little bit and I think that this dress here would go really well with my graphic t-shirt also because my graphic t-shirt has little bits of orange in it so popping that over top of the sundress would be a really cute more of a casual outfit that's another really cute look last but not least we're gonna be packing a sweater and I always like to have a sweater with me just in case I get really really cold very easily and I find at nighttime I always am grabbing for a sweater so if you are gonna be sitting out Side. in the evening I think it's great to have this to pop on over top of anything that you're wearing so a sweater is another great thing to pack up and once again a great layering piece you could throw over top of your sundress or with your jean shorts and that's another couple of outfits right there okay <laughs> next up clothing wise obviously we need some pajamas something to sleep in and then also some sandals. So I would just go for some very basic sandals that are gonna go with everything that you're packing. So you don't have to pack multiple pairs of shoes. So I have my tan sandals right here that are just super casual and they pair well with literally everything that I'll be packing. So I think that's my best bet. A pair of sunglasses, obviously. <laughs> we need some sunglasses to reflect them sun rays. And then a summer bag also. Next up accessory wise, I think a sun hat is a really cute thing to bring along too and also just a really cute extra little piece that can jazz up any of your outfits really easily so good way to spice things up also a good way to block your face from some of the sun if you are gonna be spending a lot of time outside and if you are gonna be going to the beach or the pool or wherever then a bathing suit is another must if you're gonna want to take a dip so I'll be packing up one of my high-waisted bikinis and I'm not gonna be packing a bathing suit cover just because I wanted to save a little bit of space and like I mentioned I could pop the jean shorts on with my bathing suit or even just throw my sundress on over top of that also if we're gonna be at the beach or the pool a towel is another must so we're gonna be packing that up some makeup I always like to have just like my basics and my essentials so a little mascara maybe some CC cream eyelash curler some lip gloss nothing too crazy but I'll just pack up my bag that that's that you guys that is it I actually wrote a blog post on this last summer I want to say so I'm gonna link that down below because it has everything just laid out there easy peasy super digestible um, so for the next time you're packing for a little weekend getaway you can just find all of the information yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you found it helpful and now you know what to pack for your little weekend getaways and I'll see you guys in my next video bye